welcome back to the next part of this game of Jeopardy for the Sega CD. We're currently in the Jeopardy round and we're in second place with $900 while Henry has $1,600 and Cindy's yet to be heard from. Or better yet, as I refer to Henry and Cindy right now, Bright and Diarrhea. Cindy and Diarrhea, she hasn't gotten on the board yet. And that's exactly what she's going to end up doing at the end of this game is taking a huge diarrhea dump. Henry will be doing the same thing because... He may be in the lead right now, but we're going to overtake him in the end, and he's going to go running, screaming for the toilet. And we haven't found the Daily Double yet this game, but once we find it, hopefully we'll be able to cash in and take the lead. Let's see if I have clock this is right. All right, thank you, Aubrey. And so... Oh, what's that? Oh, okay. Thought you had something else to say. And it's been a pretty bumpy start here, but I'm starting to pick up the pieces a little bit more. I'm just $700 off of Henry, and I'm going to continue on. I'm going on annual events for 200 For $200. Each June, this U.S. Commonwealth holds the Casals Music Festival, named for cellist Pablo Casals. Oh, crap, and Henry did it again. And he took my guess, which was Puerto Rico. Yes. That's Bye. Okay. Language is 400. Aroha means love in the language of these Polynesian people of New Zealand. The Maori. That's cool. number one. Oh, now it looks like we've got, for the first time ever, uh, V. Walsh 92. Okay. Hey, Aubrey. Did you see the Lion King in 3D? Yeah. What? Did you know? Yes. That's correct. Shakespeare play is based off the plot of Lion King. Uh, let's do languages for a hundred. For one hundred dollars. Okay. Um, Hamlet. The answer there is. It's kind of based off the plot. The language of the Quran. Contestant number one. Quran. K O R A N. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, I understand that. And yeah, the answer is Arabic. Yep. Right. You never knew that, Aubrey? I may have, I just forgot. No, uh, I haven't really read the play Hamlet though before. Language is 200. Or, like, I, or 200 dollars. Like, Answer. Afrikaans is derived from the, like, this language like, spoken by no. settlers. Number one. What's that? Afrikaans, A-F-R-I-K-A-A-N-S is derived from this language spoken by the settlers. Spoken by settlers. I was going to say West Germany, actually. But... Or, uh, yeah, maybe it's Swahili. No. Oh, sorry. That's not right. Oh, man. No, it's actually Dutch. Oh. Um, back to annual events for four hundred. For four hundred dollars. This resort in upstate New York has several ski jumping events every summer. Oh. Contestant number three. It's that yeah. dreaded player three again. Lake Placid. Yes. Come on, I need to be catching you, Henry. And we'll invest for five hundred dollars. 
There's a Ralph Edwards Fiesta in early May in this New Mexico city. Contestant number one. Um, it is in Hot Springs, New Mexico. Oh! It is no, not! That is not correct. It's gotta be Santa Fe. I don't No, truth or consequences? Oh. Oh, yeah, he that. Oh. Cooking for 100. This top this Welsh dish was a dish with a poached egg and it becomes a golden no. buck. Contestant number 1. Poached egg. And it becomes a golden duck. Or golden buck, rather. B U C K. Oh, is it rare? Um, well, rare bit? to 800. Uh, let's do languages for 500. For 500 dollars, the answer is... Over 60 million people in this country speak Japanese as their native language. Let me look it up. Contestant number one. 60 million people. Wow. Oh, that's good. Speak Jap... In this country, speak Japanese <laughs> as their native language. Uh, oh my gosh. Can we please stay on topic? I was going to say English. And it's not English. Sorry, incorrect. Anyone else? Contestant number two. First time we've heard from Cindy all game long. No, Indonesia. Yes. Indonesia. That's correct. Indonesia. Oh, I went for the language. No wonder. My mistake. I I mis I misinterpreted it. Cooking for, for two hundred dollars. Here is the clue. Traditionally, sea foam candy is sweetened with corn syrup and this color sugar. Yep. Contestant number one. Uh, it is. It's really bad. I think it might be brown, but let me look it up. What's the clue again? Traditionally, sea foam candy is sweetened with corn syrup and this color sugar. What kind of candy? Sea foam. S E A F O A M. Uh, what is boil sugar? What is boil sugar? I'm it up. No. Oh, incorrect. Anyone else? I think it's brown sugar. Shoot, why didn't I wait? That was my fault. No, no. No, 
I, no, Aubrey, you were right the first time. It was brown sugar. Oh, crap. Oh, man. <laughs> yeah. Cooking $300. This animal's knuckles are often oh, cooked with fresh so cabbage or sauerkraut. Contestant number three. Rang in too soon. Pig knuckles. Yes. Cooking five hundred dollars. This gelled dish is often made with tomato juice, but can be made with but can be made with fish stock. Contestant number one. Yeah. Ew. This gelled dish, G E L L E D dish, is often made with tomato juice, but can be made with fish stock. S T O C K. What is aspic? Yeah. Right. Finally! Cooking for four. So $400. Here is the clue. A linden is a French term for curry dishes usually served with this grain. That's L apostrophe. That's the number one. I D. Now, I-N-D-I-E-N-N-E. What? That is a French term for curry dishes usually served with this grain. But, I, I, I can't try to spell this. Okay, I'll... Okay, with this grain. With this grain. Oh. Thank you. Look at it up. Hold that for the Ah. Five seconds. What is rice? Yeah! It is rice? Yeah! Yes. Select again. Oh, good. Leftovers oh. for three. For $300, let's take a look at the end. Grape nut is made from natural wheat and this. That's the number one. It's made of natural wheat and Natural this. wheat and this. What is barley? Barley. Yep. Yes. Select again. Four hundred. So four hundred dollars. Howard Keel sang at the salute to this royal personage on her ninetieth birthday in nineteen ninety. Contestant number one. I'll repeat the name. That is Howard Keel, K E E L, sang at the salute to this royal personage, P R S O N A G E, on her 90th birthday, 90, in 1990. Who is? Who was Oh Howard Vera who was Vera Lynn? Or Dame Vera Lynn? No. Sorry, incorrect. Anyone else? Man, 
man, I'm having nothing but trouble. Man, nothing's clicking. The Queen Mother. Well, if it makes me any better, the last clue is mine because it's the Daily Double in the round. The clue? It's the Daily Double. What do you have? 900. And I'm not... How much would you like to bet? Yeah, I was going to do it all anyway. I'm doing it all. In 1811, Joseph de Maestre said, Every country has the one of these it deserves. Joseph, what's the last name? M A I S T R E. What is government? Yes. Double my score. And I'll see you guys and I'll see you guys for part two.